Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to create Azure storage with hierarchical namespace, which is Azure Gen 2, uh, Data Lake Gen 2 with private endpoints. And why we want to do that one? Because we want to use more secure way to connect this storage. When we create a storage and we have option over there to set how this storage can be accessed via either public endpoint, via open internet or via any private endpoints or via from any virtual networks. That option we will see. And this is one way to make secure that your storage are being securely accessed by services which you know or network which you know so let's go into azure portal and start creation of this resource for this demo we are in azure portal and we are into our azure subscription and resource group so we have already a lake created and this is not using private endpoint feature and we will see when we will use these accounts into ADF demos but for this demo we will create a storage with private endpoint support so let me go ahead and create a storage and I want to go with the storage first because I know that if we go and try to enable that one it will fail because we have to create virtual network first so let's go and see what the error messages say so if we go and try to create this resources and let me select the name and if I give the name, see that I will keep the all the settings same. I will go for LRS and if I go into advanced setting, let me enable hierarchical namespace and in that we go to networking here we can enable private input setting till now we were using this option enable public access for all network. Now we can go and say that disable public access and use private access. This is more secure. And if we click on the private endpoint, it gives this UI where it says that you have to select a virtual network and that is mandatory field. We do not have any virtual network created. So first we have to create a virtual network. Then only we can create a storage with private endpoints. So let's go ahead and create a virtual network first. So we can go back into our resource group and in resource group, let's create the virtual network first. Let's go for virtual network option and let me put that name. Let's keep into STUS and in IT, uh, let's keep the East US and then in the IP address section, default is given that whatever default address is selected uh, right now we can go with that one we do not need ipv6 right now uh, we can have multiple subnet but let's have only one default subnet that is good for our demo purpose for security we can use basin host but we do not need right now we do not need ddos protection we do not need firewall so let's go to tag and let's create with default setting whatever default setting is provided right now so virtual network has been created. Let's go to virtual network resource. And if we go to virtual network resource, we can see this is how it looks like. It has address space. It has it is using DNS provided by Azure. We have not configured flow timeout and other things. If we go to address space, we can see this is address address. Now we can add additional, but we do not need right now. Right now, there is no peered virtual network. If we go to connected device, right now, there is no connected device. If we go to subnet, right now, one subnet which we have where 251 IP is allowed. We do not have right now a basin enabled DDoS and we can enable all the settings when we required. But for this demo, let's go back to our resource group. And now we have VNet. So let's create Azure storage account. Let me now select the storage account. Let's create. Let's go for Surface Demo Resource Group. Let's see that. I'm going to select East US and then I will go with LRS option. Let's go to Advanced. Let's enable the hierarchical namespace. Let's go for networking. Now, in networking tab, I want to disable all public access and I just want to enable private access itself. 
so let me go ahead and do this one now if i go ahead and add private network then it gives me options to give a name let me give that name package endpoint and which kind of resource we want to support so as we have enabled radical namespace we will go with dfs if it was normal plain blob storage we can go with blob if file then we can go with all this option we can have multiple options also so for right now i'm going with dfs and it will say that the whatever name we have given and then private link dot dfs dot code the windows date if we select the blob it will change that uh, dns private dns zone name like that one only let's enable with dfs i'm clicking ok we can we can later update also and we can later use that one also we will see if you have access we how we can do that one so let's create this one till that time it is being created let's go to see our one of the storage we have right so suppose you have one storage and you wanted to enable and that was created without private endpoint and that's where you want to enable now private endpoint then you can go to networking tab then we can disable this endpoint prior public network access to this storage account has been disabled create a public endpoint connection so we can go in private endpoint and we can create using public endpoint using this method where we have to provide the resource name let me select something over there okay and then we can go and select whatever resource we want to use target resource same as we have seen that in blob or something like that so let's have dfs because it was also that one now we can select the virtual network and other things for that region right now in that region let me see which region it is there there might not be virtual network for that region so if we go and see east yes we have right so why it was not coming let me see one more time so it should come into that if i go into private network and if i go into this emo here i was selecting i guess east us so let me select east us and then let me give the name let me give name and if i go and select that with dfs virtual network will come we have been a subscriber vnet we that will come and that's how we can enable virtual uh, enable and private endpoint for storage which was already created without that one so that's what we can do right now our deployment for uh, storage has is, is still in progress so let's wait a couple of minutes and then it will do it will it is adding all the default private endpoint all the services and other details so let's wait for finishing this one now our deployment for storage account with private endpoint has been created let's go into resources and now if we go into networking tab and if we see the same thing which we just saw from existing one that this is disabled and if we go to private endpoint one private had endpoint has been created and it is approved and this is the endpoint and if we go into container let me go into container right now we have log container let me create a data container here right so now if i go into data container then if you see i am getting this unauthorized access Be why because this connection is going through azure portal and azure portal is using uh, public network that is why and we have configured this one to use private network if we go into our one of the different lake which we just saw where our networking is enabled as a uh, public network then if we go into container section and if we go to any container we should be able to see whatever file is there whatever folder is there that is how we create a storage account with private network enable and disabling public network for more security because so now it can be accessed with private network which we approve so if somebody wants to access this storage they have to raise the request using private endpoint and then approval will come and we know that which endpoint is has to approve because we were talking to that team we know that team and then approve that one and that's how it will be more secure than using with public endpoints right so that is how it provides additional layer of security to our critical resources so in this video i just wanted to share this one in next video i want to do a demo where we will connect adf with this storage account and we will see how to use this one with adf or other services so let's tune in
थैंक यू